the most I've ever gotten done at the shortest amount of time, like two days in a row, right? Just psychically working, right? And in between work, when I eat, I'll do like two hours of young and blah, blah, blah. And I came to some crazy, crazy conclusions that no one else has for their fucking documentaries. And I keep leaking them on stream. Is it a bad idea? Um, my people say it's not a bad idea because got, nobody's going to organize it like you. You're going to have it first. But I want to leak so bad on stream, dude. I want to leak so fucking bad. Because I'm like fiending for that feedback that helps me out that never is never really there. But check this out. So uh, here's, here's what I can leak, all right? How about I, I do leak a bit of it, all right? I'll leak the chapters. And everyone's going to convince me to like make this shorter. I don't want to. We're going to hit it out the park the first time. We're going to build momentum. It's going to be a big... I want it like... Yeah, whatever. Okay, there's chapters, okay? Chapter... Uh, there's not chapters, but I'll split it in chapters for chat, okay? Chapter one. Well, we'll just say the hook. The hook's going to be with Balenciaga, modern day, right? That's going to lure in the viewers. And then I'm going to go through Hollywood, but not what people have done on YouTube. There's like some exposed that no one else has done. And this one actually worried me because I've seen bad stuff happen to a lot of people who expose big, big names. Because if the documentary does good, um, oh, if this documentary doesn't do good, by the way, uh, I'm actually going to, you know, people are like, yo, you got to get your YouTube going before you drop something big. I don't want to, bro. I really don't want to. Okay, it's fucking raining out there. I want to do it this way, but it really fucking stings, bro. So I said, you know what? If I 10 out of 10 this, then I don't have to worry about it going big. You know, if if it's, you know, I'll have a test group. I'll have all that and don't treat it like a YouTube for once. Let's do it. Correct. And so check this out. It starts off with Balenciaga. And then it goes into black magic with a lot of with some names that have been sacrificed that has never been leaked on mainstream media but there's footage of them saying that they got sacrificed and shit and i don't know why no one leaked it and now i'm worried i'm like if no one leaked it then why the fuck am i going to be the first you know what i mean so i don't know if i want to add that part but that could be a mega hook uh yeah it's just going to be beginning uh, past, present, future. That's how I divided this uh, this project. And like, I'm gonna turn this stream off in like an hour and a half after I'm done talking about this. I'm gonna show you some pictures because if I show if I show the pics, we'll be here forever. But if I show you guys as I'm finishing this project. Um, I read, you know, I'm listening to Young a lot. I'm listening to, you know, I'm doing old man shit, let's be honest, right? Plato, blah, blah, blah. And Young said that uh, his big regret when he's older is that he um, he never got to play. He got his innocence uh, stripped from him. And, you know, I quit drawing like years ago. So that apparently if you quit something that was uh, part of your identity, that's horrible. So I started doodling, doodling, whatever. And, uh, yo, check this doodle out. Check it out, dude. I haven't slept in two days, and I was laying down, so I couldn't see the lines correct. That's why it's kind of off with the mustache. But I was just doodling half asleep. And I got, you know, like, I've been way better. But for someone who took off, eight, I took eight years off drawing. And because I'm laying down as I'm drawing this, like, with my ear on the pillow, the sword is obviously going to be you know, misaligned. But I'm drawing everything in my uh, youtube video right i'm drawing everything and then i said to myself why don't i perfect these and add them as motion pictures like why do i have to use google when uh, i know exactly what i'm looking for like a psychically charged third eye knights of templar fucking baphomet worshiper i think i can do that better right you hear what i'm saying but then i said damn that'll That'll really like increase the length of the project. So I said, you know what? Only for some icons, some iconic characters, four, five, eight of them, whatever. I can draw them. And they got to be drawings like this where it's like I'm not trying hard. I'm actually just uh, letting my hand go and uh, 
letting it be a part of the creative process because dude wh whoever's made youtube here right whoever's made youtube here and you got to give it up to alex jones bro you staying creative is fucking retarded hard and that spinning hand feeling what am i trying to say with that like when, you know when you like move your hand for no reason Like, I'd get this, like, impulse to, like, rotate my, uh, oh, I appreciate you, Isaac. I'd get this, uh, impulse to rotate my hand and rotate my, uh, shoulder and blah, 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 blah. And I used to get this in the gym, right, before I'm, like, getting into it. And then I just let kind of my hand just flow, flow, and it started to, like, I haven't drawn in, like, eight years, bro. And it started to do this for me. Oh, my bad. It started to do this for me. And you're like, well, Zerk, I've seen your other art. That's not that impressive. Yes, it is actually because I was laying down with my ear on the floor with a thin pillow on the floor, on a carpet floor on the, in the living room. So I was trying to get the daylight on the paper. And so I drew that all from the angle that I can't even draw. And, you know, I kind of fucked it up, but that's not that bad for because I've never half asleep drawn like that. Right. Like where I'm like dozing in and out and stuff. And so I slammed the Red Bull and I'm like, I, at th I finished his face. I swear to God, I finished his face and beard and hair. I swear to God, over a hundred times. He had a hundred different faces. I've never done that in my life. Usually I just make the line fast and just whatever. But I was like, you know, all my life I draw fast. Why don't I just like, why don't I just let my hand go and just like slowly just etch into it. And anyways, as I'm drawing psychically i receive a way greater plot from my project and i tell my people and they're like holy shit holy shit this is a way better idea for the project for for the storyline and then i check if it's been done before and yeah we're safe here and stuff like that and then i go okay this plot is perfect because it doesn't substitute truth but the narration is different, right? And so now we have a three narrative, me, them, and God. There's a three-way narrative throughout the whole truth, truth bomb video. And I'm like, God is going to speak through symbols. The evil will speak through allegory. And I will speak through art. And art's not a symbol. I'm not trying to say art's a symbol, right? By symbol, I mean like uh, uh, a focal point, right? Like a point. Like what is a point? Right? A point is nothing, but it's, you know, everything of nothing. It's like a form. So anyways, I was like, yeah, this is a way better way to uh, direct this because even Zoomers can consume it now, right? <clears throat> and now check this out. Check this out, dude. I need to find some fucking animators, bro. If I give them high level art and we just get the good lines on it on the computer, I don't know how to do that. And we make those motion pictures. I don't have to fucking search for f photos and stuff uh, that have like, I go out of my way to use different photos and stuff, but I'm like, I don't want to, bro. I want to do it from my fucking what I'm seeing in my head, dude. I want to do what I'm seeing from my head. Another thing, okay? I don't do black magic. I don't practice black magic. None of that. But, but it's real. And this documentary that I'm putting together, it has some of the most famous fucking people on earth exposed. Not by like, hey, I like Satan. No, by them saying I went through a psychic revelation where after the seance, nothing happened because it wasn't real to us until we put motive, until we actually started touching her. And dude, I have all that. And I'm looking at the internet, I'm like, what the fuck? This shit gets such little fucking views. 
because nobody wants to watch a nine hour fucking biography of the evil guy's best friend. But I get really curious for stuff like that. Because the, I, like, let's say I'm studying Freud, right? Everyone goes into like uh, the psychic theory of sexuality, where he talks about homosexuality just being an, uh, inverted. They're inverted and they, it, it's not like they want the opposite sex. It's like that it's a sexual fetish. It's not actually, anyways. But then he, he was progressive, Freud, I guess. But anyways, check this out. That's not how you should look into Freud when you study Freud. Always start with their early life first. I used to do it the other way around where I go, I'm going to read Freud's work and stuff like, dude, do his early life first because then you can distinguish truth from fiction. Then you can see, oh, look at this. You know, he has a problem with his mom, but he's pushing this. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So, yeah, I'm like better at this research shit, which is good. You know, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my days. And it's so fucking hard to give advice when you haven't when I haven't delivered the project yet. After the project, you guys will be like, "Hey, you're you're good at this. I wanna, you know, I wanna help you, John. Help me, motherfucker." Yeah, but uh, Adam Twenty Two, I think he, they're booking me for like next week. I gotta fly out for like a day or two. Uh, Honestly, don't remind me because anytime I think of like flying, I don't, I don't know. I just, today I hung up the phone on my mom because I was, I said, mom, I'm really being productive right now. And she said, again, I said, yeah. And she's like, all right, go. And it felt so weird because I'm like, if I stay with her, I'm going to lose two hours and maybe a bit of frustration might kill two hours of work or two hours of focus, which is just as bad. It means I start to not like work. So like, I'm like, mom, trust me. You know me, I'm in the zone or I'm not. And then she's like, okay, fine. Because she knew she was going to say something like, you know, she says some very deep shit. And then I go, Ma, come on, bro. I don't want to talk about that shit. Like kids and shit. Have you watched Walter V's testimony? I think, I, I don't know. What is it good? Oh, uh, yeah, I showed the stream. What are you talking about? I'm the one who showed them that. <clears throat> yeah yeah walter's the guy who actually made me pick up the bible and uh not read it like i actually really pondered this time and yeah and you know what's interesting about uh reading the bible is that it's just a fucking book and less spirit is flowing through you so sometimes you can read it and sometimes you can't. But when spirit's flowing through you, right? When you have this like natural curiosity about it and it's usually for like one specific chapter, I really, the scariest thing people do is read it from beginning to end. That's what a retard does. Go for the things that uh, stick out to you and then reverse engineer it that way. You'll be hooked. You'll finish the whole book fast. Do never go beginning to end, especially with something like that's 48 books, right? But uh, yeah, the Bible has to be the most accurate thing I've ever read in my life. Like when I think of, uh, should I draw a diagram? Look at this shit, all right? This is wild to me. All right, f fuck it. Actually, let's just uh, let's just let's just talk. Yeah, when you realize what the serpent is in the Bible, and what it is with the ancient Ophites, the Jewish Gnostics, the Christian Gnostics, the Naga worshippers of India, the Koreans, the Japanese, the the Mayans, the dragon, dragon. Draco, serpent, snake, feathered snake, all of them had that lizard people conspiracy cringe. 
But why are humans so fucking obsessed with serpents? Because psychically, that's the only thing you see. That's the only... The kids in school who drew penises all day in their textbooks, they didn't draw them because it's funny and this and that. They did them because that's all they see. When you look at an obelisk, when you look at a Saturn rocket, when you look at a sword, it's a penetrating archetype. It's a penetrating that's active. So when you realize the serpent of temptation is talking to you through the seven solar deities of, that conquer you. They're not gods, but we call them deities. Why? Because in Platonic writing, it really means you're being conquered by lust, greed, Mars, Jupiter. You're being conquered by something. And you're out of alignment. That's why Christ brings you back into alignment on the fucking equinox. When he comes back. And you need to have faith to even set your psyche healthy. That's insanity, dude. That book is insane. When you realize the serpent is a penis... Not just your penis, the penis that's trying to fuck your girl. The penis that fucked this bitch that you want. The penis that you're jealous of and he's the Chad. And The serpent only talks about greed, lust, envy, wrath. That's what the serpent is. The serpent rapes. It rapes women with wrath. Women get raped. The serpent is giving you lust, right? You want to fuck. So if you don't check what the serpent is hissing in your ear, and here's the here's the sad truth about the human psyche, is when you say to a regular person of today's world, when you say to a regular person, Hey, are you battling with greed, lust, envy, or wrath? The more, if you say all of them, they just check out of the conversation because they go, this is too hard. I'm being dominated. But if you really study your own psyche, you'll find out that some of those letters are capital and some of those aren't that bad, right? You might be more greedy than you are wrathful, but your greed will definitely bring more wrath. They're going to overlap. They're going to, they're going to play, they're going to play against you. And that's what those fucking Greek and Egyptian gods were. And every ancient culture had these archetypes. We all know what strength is, but nobody fucking t- taught us strength. No teacher said, this is what strength is, is to do, hold the sword. And we just knew that that kid on the playground was stronger than us. We just felt the hierarchy of the planets. Planets are wandering stars. They're solar energies, dude. And if you really think you can be your own god... Like the Masons teach, you reach cosmic consciousness and blah, blah, blah. Then you want to be a planet. You understand? You want to be an adversary to God. So when you really think about it, is the Bible a bad book? Yeah, it's horrible if you're retarded. You know, if you're if you're stupid, it's not a good book. Cause when I was a kid I was like the best they could the best they could think of is a fucking serpent. But the serpent climbs Jacob's ladder up your spinal column, the 33 vertebra from your sacrum. The sacred fluid goes up your spine 
into your brain. That's what makes you want to rape someone. Is that temptation of wrath, greed, lust, envy, I want it all, blah, blah, blah. That's why the Bible is like when people say it's to restrict you. Yes, man is a fucking beast without it. You don't want the fucking riots of last year to be restrained? Fucking terrifying, bro. Don't get me started on tankies that think they, they're going to be cozy when their fucking windows are smashed in by rocks. Ooh, send me that, Miller. I haven't seen that. Probably the most mind-bending shit I'll ever... Sh Do you guys want me to just blow your mind and just leak my documentary? Fuck it. Fuck it. Who gives a fuck, man? Who who gives a fuck? Like, it just makes me... It just makes me work slower on it. Because I go, oh, people already... Here, I'll show you guys something that no one else has done on YouTube. Okay, who is Carl Jung, chat, right? Carl Jung, right, he loved Freud, right? And he got to meet him, work with him, do his psychoanalysis. This is when psychology was coming out. And psychology was, it's pretty, what psychology is, it's alchemy and spirituality of the material world, where it's like they try and explain it as like left lobe, right lobe of the brain. And uh, eventually... All great geniuses say, this is stupid. I want to go back to alchemy. And alchemy is the alchemical process of changing your morals by contemplating. So pretty much if you're a rapist, you're a murderer. If you really um, focus within and really go down uh, into the cave of darkness and death in your brain and feel what made you a rapist and a murderer, it was probably because you got raped. And you go through the whole psychic revelation, the whole trauma. Apparently, yes, any human can through practice, through self-reflection, through and the correct steps of it. You can't just say, hey, I want to be a good guy. Apparently, anyone can do that where they can lift whatever is yanking them down, wrath, greed, whatever. And I, why I always go back to the Bible, wrath, greed, and these these things is because I don't like the Western archetypes that are made to destroy the Bible, right? They like, it's so cope, you know? Or oh, there's there's an art strength archetype, and there's a, you know what I mean? It's so cope because when you look at the archetypes, they're inverted. Think about the Bible. Lust is love, dude. Love is lust. It's inverted depending on if you're a fucking freak or not. You understand? You naturally love, but you get traumatized and raped into lust where you lust for other people. You understand that you have to get bitten by evil, demonic forces to even become bad? So I don't like everyone trying to throw away this... Uh, you know, they're, they're trying to like... They're trying to replace Christ with Jordan Peterson, and it's like fucking weak, bro. It's fucking weak. Well, anyways, what is psychology? I mean, psychology is the most made fun of on the internet, but the internet, the guys in chat who laugh at it the most, they're about to kill themselves. You know what I mean? When I was a young kid, I said, what the fuck would there, why is there, why would I ever go study anything in college besides psychology? With psychology, you can fucking, if you master that, what can't you do? And psychology all comes back to Freemasonry. The deep truths of psychology are very dark. Oh, I, I'm I'm going off, dude. Should I keep going? <laughs> I don't know how I got here, but look at this. Uh, here, 
yeah, if it's good, if it's, I don't want to be preachy today. Um, I think that's enough. Yeah. All right. It's, uh, it is interesting how all these high level military patches have like psychic wizards on it. Like what the fuck? And all hidden uh, military programs are something about a wizard and they never hire a fucking science teacher. They never hire a chemist. They only hire some elemental alchemist type weirdos like hermits. What the fuck? You think they need a chem you think they need a chemist? Oops. Okay, chat. Notice this picture of me right here. Okay, I didn't even I just clicked random photos and I'm just going to like go off. Uh, this is not prepared, but I'm already connecting dots. Like this is so good. I've never I've I'm 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 on, when I'm fatigued, I kill it, man. I'm actually sucking my own cock right now. Okay, so this is me when I'm in grade eight. <laughs> and uh, very innocent, right? I didn't lose my virginity till I uh, graduated high school. Uh, I remember one time this girl trying to suck me off, like pulling at my belt. And I, I don't know, I was like, I had to, some stomach turning feeling where I didn't want to do it. And then I went home and really regret it because I was like, She's hot as fuck. She wasn't hot, but back then, I guess. Anyways, check this out. Okay. So here's why it's important to, in your spare time, never, ever, if you're an adult, hey, man, those games aren't helping you. Those video games and stuff. Look into studying about the mind. Because first you get intimidated where you go, you know, you know, I'm, I'll never understand this stuff. And yes, you will. Yes, you will. It's actually very, it's, if your goal is to be wise and not knowledgeable, it's actually very easy. If your goal is to be knowledgeable, that means you have to study shit you don't even want to learn about. You know, that that's, should not be your goal. And to be wise is like to know yourself in relation to others and to be able to see, um, uh, let's say, what did they call it? Uh, Young calls it the shadow or whatever. That there's really just two, there's a ghost inside of you. Think of it that way. And that guy is not you. That guy wants to do fucked up shit. That guy has uh, seven things on his mind. And nobody takes this serious because they take uh, real world science serious. And in real world science, when you go up to a scientist and say, hey, I want to kill myself. The science says, dude, you're chemically imbalanced. We got to just like throw drugs and see what works. And then you go, well, uh, how do we know if this, you know, this sounds a little risky, bro. I got to try different drugs and. You know, this sounds scary, but the doctor always looks at the patient with the same gaze. He doesn't care. The doctor doesn't care. That's the world of today. Okay. Jung said the only way a psychologist or a doctor, the only way someone can help another human being is if they've hurt the exact same way as well. That even if they say the wrong thing, they're feeling the right thing in the mental plane where they go, oh, I'm not alone. This guy's been through it. And they don't like have a realization, but they go to bed thinking, oh, I feel better for some reason, blah, blah, blah. Right? So this alchemical transformation of the brain 
happens by pondering. It doesn't even happen by reading, writing, none of, nothing. It happens by you asking yourself, why are you thinking that? If you onion peel why you're thinking something over four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, that truth is going to actually um, make your life better because it's going to say stop doing the work. That truth is going to say, hey, man, you don't actually want this. We just thought it. We uh, let, Let's say you want to meet up with some fucking hoe. Why do you want this? Well, you peel the layer. You go, I don't got a pussy. I'm horny. Why are you horny? I don't got no pussy. Why don't you got no pussy? I haven't touched a girl in a while. Why haven't you touched a girl in a while? I stay at home. Why haven't you touched a girl in a while? I stay at home. Why haven't you touched a girl in a while? I don't like women. Why haven't you touched a girl in a while? They're stupid. They shouldn't be able to vote. Why haven't you touched a girl in a while? Because I hate myself. And they remind me of all my mistakes when they say, clean this shit up, clean up this behavior, blah, blah, blah. They remind me of my mom. You understand? When you go to the root of the idea and you go, God damn, dude. She's just like my mom. She's telling me to stop doing fucking cocaine. <laughs> this fucking girl. Why nobody does that and they like binge with whatever the fuck they got going on, right? They numb themselves. Is... Our biggest fear is if we get enough truth onions down our fucking throat that we'll just not do anything and kill ourselves. But it's actually the opposite. Once you fucking consume enough truth onions, you're liberated to do the only thing that's left, the real onion. You go, oh, fuck, it's this fucking project that's been in my head for fucking 10 years, five years, practically, five, 10 years as a form, five years as a practical thing, two years as I, I need to read books, one year as in I got to organize, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking to myself, like, why did I go 20 fucking seven? When I got into this stuff, I was pretty much 27, actually, I'll call it 27, 27 years. I didn't 27 years. I would look for real chemicals in the world to change my brain, like real and just real chemicals. Ain't that insane? I think will is everything, but the problem with willing your new life is you got to actually tell yourself it's just not right now. So if you want to will a project, you know how people are like, you just got to do a discipline, discipline, discipline. No, you tried that and you're a fucking loser. Find the calmest moment of your day and say, I promise the calmest moment of my day when I feel like I got nothing to do, when I feel like I got, you know, where I feel like, oh, well, what should I click on? Oh, should I call a buddy? I... At that moment, just spend a little time in silence and say, would you like to start the project right now? And you always say yes. Every single time. And then you psychically start doing it passively, which is actually really healthy. You start to go through the motions of work passively. And what happens when you feel yourself fatiguing from work, but you're so passive, you're just like, blah, 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 blah. You start checking yourself. You go, wait, if I'm changing my brain, if I'm done with the suffering, I'll suffer with the real world. I'm not suffering at work, right? We're men. We love work, right? There's nothing, dude, I'm telling you, a man is the golden retriever, right? If you don't have a ball, you're losing your fucking brain. If Even if you're making money, you're losing your fucking everything you're spiros man you understand now the best thing you can do when you want to do something let's say you're like oh i want to make this youtube video about like some uh, sasuke doing some gay shit right the greatest thing you can do is 
ask yourself, what is the Leviathan of your failure? And I promise you it's going to be the same as mine because I grew up in this like age of information and blah, blah, blah in our face, right? And what is the Leviathan always destroying us? The Leviathan is always the intro, the start. The, we can't start. And if we do, we don't like our start. And so we never get it done. Some of us, who are smarter than others, we go to the end. We start it from backwards and start to work it backwards into the middle. And look, we lose motivation. This doesn't make sense. It needs an intro. This doesn't make sense. It feels... The greatest thing you can do is have the shittiest intro ever, right? And lock it. Say, that's it. It cannot change for seven days. That intro cannot change for seven days. That intro about me talking about Toothpaste cannot change for seven days. And now that you've locked it, you have to work. Because it's locked for seven days. Once it's locked for seven days, you go on part two and part three and part four. And you go, man, I'm rushing it. Part two, three, four suck. I'm doing so bad. You go part five, part six. Just finish it. Just finish it in one night. Finish it. But dude, this is supposed to be like a 20 day thing. Just finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Your primary goal should not be starting, should not be tapping, should not be, it should be, I'm not leaving my chair till I finish the worst version of this project. So you finish this horrible PowerPoint and you go, holy fuck, I spent four hours on the shittiest PowerPoint in my life. It doesn't even make sense. And you get up off your chair and you go to bed. And you sleep and your PowerPoint is about Zerka achieving Sharingan and fighting his younger self in front of a wizard as the wizard's jacking off, trying to uh, send his serpent sperm into Zerka so Zerka can be male and female, right? It's my bar mitzvah. <laughs> Kidding. So now check this out. I wrote a story where Zerka has to fight younger Zerka to get the eyeball of truth in front of the elders that will kill him if he doesn't get this ri ritual done. And I go, man, this is fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid. But I go to bed and the next day, what do I have? I have hope and I have faith. Why? Because I have a PowerPoint done that I forgot about. I go, man, I did something stupid. I don't even remember. I just woke up. You press play the next day on your stupid PowerPoint and you watch it and you laugh and you're like, oh, this is so stupid. I can't believe I wasted my time. And then ideas start to pour in the crevices of it. The greatest psychic revelations you'll ever experience. And you go, holy shit. If I change one part in this PowerPoint, that hook would look pretty mean. Like that would engage the reader or whatever, the watcher. And so the point is, a shitty idea is the only way you get to a good one. Like never, ever start a painting and think that's the painting. You understand? So yeah. That's my speech on... That's my speech to myself on... When am I being the least like Zerka? All right? Because when I'm when I'm in the real world, I want to be the most like Zerka. But when I am alone, I want to be the least like myself. When I'm alone, I want to be present. I want to be all the way immersed. You understand? And this is what it sounds like when you don't fap. This is what no, <laughs> this is what no fap sounds like. No, this is what like so, this is what like. Uh, I want more fap. How about that? <clears throat> Anyways, I just feel like the greatest gift I've ever received in 2023, and God is so great, is I've achieved a new range of thought 
where I've, I don't think I could have done this without streaming because, you know, streams point out your bad flaws. But, dude, there's these moments where you you eat your bad flaws. You know what I mean? You'll never understand um, the fusion of work and euphoria. You'll never understand how working is euphoric to a man until you realize all you have to do is stop doing what you do. That ritual you have before you get to the gym, you got to stop doing that because you keep missing the fucking gym. You got to stop doing certain things. You're stuck in your ways, bro. And that, to me, all my life, the most romantic thing about me was the dog thing. That I would just do it again and again and again. And I'm tired of the dog thing, bro. That shit is stupid as fuck. Right? <clears throat> okay, next... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the project, but I'm just showing you guys some of my favorite notes, bro. These notes from weeks ago, too. Check this one out, all right? Check this one out. Have you noticed, and I know Young and all those people are going to attack me for this, and they're going to think I'm retarded. I don't care. Have you noticed ego is only healthy in the real world, but when you're home alone in your room... You start to feel like a fucking phony. Because when you're home alone and not compared to anyone on the street. Yeah, on the street, uh, you're a badass. But when you're home alone, are you really a badass? Or are you seeing different visions of yourself? I'm. We all see like a better form of ourselves. And we go like, dude, that. You know, what's the shame of the better version of you? The shame is not that he's working harder. The shame is that you know it's easy. M like, men know work is easy. All those Andrew Tates and stuff like that who say hard work, hard work is, you know, it's tough, it's discipline, it's this. Is it? What the fuck else would you be doing if not working? You know what I mean? You're, you're going to fucking kill yourself? What are you going to do? What's a fucking golden retriever without the fucking balloon and the frisbee? Like, what are you going to do? And the scary realization is that whether you bust your ass working hard or you do nothing all day in bed, you're just as exhausted in each plane, whether physical or just, you know, chilling. You're just as exhausted. Like, one is actually raping your mind and it feels worse. So get up. And it's like, it's not that hard to listen to a stream as you're walking, dude. It's really not. The, the, al the alchemical transformation of the oxygen hitting your fucking brain, that, it's not a chemical thing, bro. It's not. It's that you're not supposed to cage time into a room, into a prison cell. Into, you're not ever supposed to cage time because then you, st you stop seeing spirit flow through it. That's why a lot of people in prison get holy books, right? They need spirit to pour in. They need a tree. They need something. And the book writes about a fucking tree. And these guys are like, all they want to do is fucking get out that fucking courtyard and shit. So those people who say touch grass, yeah, okay. It's kind of cringe though, but okay. Like I over, I, it's just overused. I don't know. Go get up to get rich. I mean, getting rich is the easy part. It's keeping the sanity on the way there. That's the hard part. Like anyone can chill with some degenerate friends who's got some good business opportunities for you. Uh, drug dealing, whatever the fuck. You know, there's so many ways. 
But then you look at a lot of these uh, streamers, influencers, and all that, and you go, something's off about these people. I've been living in my room for a few months. Yeah, you need to join a team, bro. Believe it or not, indiv individuality is the greatest myth to Western man. John Zirka, you must be busy spreading Masonic lies about God's own church that he found in his time on earth. Your community is spreading Masonic heretics, misinformation about the church. It's sad to see so many walking into the serpent's hands. Okay, it looks like we have a homosexual in the chat. Is that? Yeah. Are you, are you going to cry? I, I don't know what you think this is, but I'm not really someone who's afraid of demons and serpents in my chat, in my room, or anywhere around me. They don't open their mouths when I start speaking. You watch porn all day. You're stroking the serpent all day. You are nothing like me. You should be afraid. And fucking one guy in chat wrote something you didn't like and you called me a Freemason? Me, the guy that's doing the only fucking documentary exposing these guys? And not because they have money, I'm exposing something way deeper. Do you think Alex Jones is doing what I'm doing, you fucking retard? You think I get paid for this, you fucking idiot? You came from a pedophile mom? And a pedophile dad? Your pedophile language? Your ugly parents? ugly lineage matter of fact matter of fact you're you're the devil that's what you are you're the devil i don't even know what the fuck you're talking about i just know you're being a fucking pussy in my chat you're being a put this is not fucking by this is not bible study bitch go back to fucking bible study bitch it's you bible study bitches that fucking ruined the west you got conquered with your fucking pussy ass ways fucking dumb bitch you stupid dumb bitch you weak little christian you need me to lead you you weak little christian can't do fuck fuck all without me turn to a fucking hippie doing fucking molly at festivals without me you dumb bitch fucking depressed and, and you have anxiety without me you dumb bitch you need me fuck you talking about as far as I'm concerned, every fucking Christian in the U.S. is burning in hell. The weakest fucking men I've ever seen in my life. Total fucking pussies. The only ones I ever kick it with are 48 years old. The fucking biggest cowards, bro. At least Muslims will call a sin a sin. These fucking Christians, ah, everyone's okay. Absolute fucking coward shit. It's always you bull cut little bitches, bro. You guys who never had a dad. You guys, your dad was like busy building Noah's Ark, uh, the the Lego. Right? Your dad was never like an angry guy. Your dad's like some fucking Bible study guy, right? Yeah, I don't I don't come from your background, bro. I don't really come from your background. I don't fucking you saw some guy talk about serpents and you started calling me a fucking devil worshiper. Because who who hurt your feelings, bro? Who, if, if someone in chat hurts you that bad, are you ready for this war? My dude, I'm not a priest. I'm not a preacher. I'm the fucking exorcist of this fucking shit, alright? I'm the only fucking exorcist. You know the alchemical formula I went through? To have a thousand bitches send me fucking titty pics and I said, Nah, bitch, I'd rather stream about fucking the truth. You know, who the fuck does that, huh? Who the fuck does that? Do you know anyone who does that? And they do it to look cool. Do, do you know anyone who does it because they need to? Do you know anyone who needs to bond to truth? Do you know anyone who takes three and a half fucking years to get a check mark because they're bonded to truth? Do you know anyone who gets called a fucking retard every day of his life because of flat earth? 
You think you think I walk around thinking like I feel special being the flat guy? No, it fucking sucks. It sucks, dude. And if I didn't look so pretty, it would hurt way more. Like imagine if I was some fucking random flat earth, you know, that would hurt. Right? Because people look at me and they go, oh man, this you, these girls pretend they're flat earthers just to suck this guy's dick. And they, you know, they treat me, it's, it's like cute when I do it. But if I was some random dude, they'd be like, yo, that's a flat tard, bro. He's going to shoot up a school. You know what I mean? So you think years and years and years of being the flat guy at every party and every fucking Thanksgiving. And I'm not flat like, hey, bro, I heard you're a flat earther. I'm flat like I heard them talk about the fucking moon landing next to me. If I don't say it, then they're, they're stuck in that spell. But the fact that you think you live like me. My dude, my dude, you you are the most quiet little Christian, I'll bet you anything, in the real world. I bet you don't go with a fucking microphone spreading gospel like me. I, I, bet, I bet you don't do shit. I bet you do fuck all. You don't do shit, bro. Stop. Look at this. I'm skeptical of any human who uses their trauma to claim they are great. I'm great as fuck, bro. God made me great. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck my God failed you, bro. He didn't like you. God just fucking hated you, bro. That's why you're in chat coping. God did me good, bro. I looked in the mirror. I was like, holy fuck, I believe in a divine, a divine spirit, 100%. I looked in the mirror and I proved God is real. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do it because that fucking mirror, that mirror is a portal to a whatever for you. You sound like an Ophite to me. You sound like a serpent worshiper. <clears throat> yeah, join VC, you little bitch. Fucking imagine watching fucking nine hours of me do this and then say, you know what? Actually, John, you're on the guys you're exposing. And I'm like, bro, this little fucking bitch, bro. This, uh, this guy thinks I get subs for streams like this. This little fucking bitch. This little fucking sellout bitch who watches sellout influencers all day. You know why I'm mad that I didn't sell out? You know why I'm mad? Because if I did, it would be the most boring fucking existence to talk about fucking Raid Shadow Legends, bro. Like you're fucking heroes. Anyways. But I'm not mad. It's 2023. I don't get mad. Uh, all I'm trying to say is um, archetypes exist, you know, like we, we found strength here, you know, we, we, there, this form, the form, the archetype of strength, for some reason, everyone knows what it is, right? We're all connected to it, right? Sometimes it bleeds through us, sometimes whatever. And why I talk in such an open way, like, what is it? Is because if I keep saying it's Christ, it's Christ, it's Christ, bro, people stop listening, in the material world, you have to feed them fucking garbage like Freud and Jung to get them close to uh, some kind of revelation. And then you got to say something that only Zerka would say on the internet that's going to change your fucking life. And I'm going to say it in 5, 4, 3, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Carl Jung, the greatest psychologist of all time. was doing seances with women for years and years and years when his maid wasn't home because he came from a rich family. He then practiced a cult and ditched his work to go into Egypt and India because he had a dream of seeing a third eye demon come up to him and say, it's all real. All this is real while he's in fucking hell. When he was 17... A wooden table just snapped in half in front of his mom. And he it puzzled him, and his mom was spooked, and his mom was had a very, very cold sweat about it. Cause she knew what it was. They're the mega rich. They're very rich. He says, I don't have money for that, they're rich. And then he went into studying about the brain, but he realized it's limited. And that he wants to go into the hidden arts, occult, and alchemy. And all of his friends said, there's no money in that. That's stupid. That's the, And he became the greatest of all time. Nicholas Tesla. 
He said, how I became so great and then found out all the, had these psychic revelations, da, da, da. How I became so great is that every night I would go to bed. But before I go to bed, I'd leave a book open with a pen. And every night, I would enter a deep sleep and wake up to every page being filled. Just me knowing exactly what to write and what to connect. That's a pituitary lunar psychic revelation where they work through you, the spirit works through you. This guy says, source is trust me, bro. Okay, if I source it, I think you're getting permabanned. Should we permaband this long-term sub? Yeah, let's permaband. Yeah, we're going to uh, alchemize this fucking disgusting chat. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mods, permaban him right now. Per permaban him right now. And give me a countdown, see if I, uh, see if I uh, fuck this up. When Nikola Tesla was in his late 80s, very old, and he was given a big awards dinner in New York where the world was thanking him for all the incredible things that he had given to the world. And he said, Nikola Tesla spoke to the audience, and he said, I have to tell you how I got my ideas to do what I've done. He said, every evening before bed, your brain as a human has nothing to do with your, your blood. It's affecting your brain. The vibrations in your mind are being affected by the sun, the moon, Mars, Jupiter. And so women are from Venus and men are from Mars, meaning our minds operate differently because of the way we are born and, and who we are and the vibrations in the brain. It's a very big subject about inspiration. And, and the inspiration comes from out there. When Nikola Tesla was in his late 80s, very old and he was given a big awards dinner in New York where the world was thanking him for all the incredible things that he had given to the world. And, uh, and he said, Nikola Tesla spoke to the audience and he said, I have to tell you how I got my ideas to do what I've done. He said, every evening before bed, I will put a, a, a notepad on the little table next to my bed with a pen or a pencil. And he said, and every morning when I wake up, there's a written invention on the pad. Somebody comes into my room at night and writes down an invention. And, and the next morning I get up and it's all written out for me. And so I just go to my laboratory and follow the instructions and I invented radio or I invented uh, alternating current, or I made this invention or that invention. And today, Nikola Tesla has lit the world and given us radio and, and all kinds of wonderful things this man gave to the world. But he said he was inspired by someone writing it down when he was sleeping. And so that's inspiration. To inspire comes from the word spire, to like perspire, inspire and so spire is to breathe together breathing is spire and so someone was breathing into him their ideas and coming from somewhere else so that was one point i wanted to make about inspiration is it doesn't necessarily come from you it comes from out there
I, I don't really get why you need this video to believe in magic and all that stupid shit when really the inventor of the rocket jack parsons like that's all you really need and you got to really think of what is electricity right but now check this out okay let me uh get this camera on for a sec okay i can't do it i can't do it all right i just i can't all right but here, here's what i'm trying to say okay all right imagine a circle imagine a circle okay just let's draw uh, a big circle and in the middle of the circle just draw a dot you want ms paint instead Okay, you can see this, right? All right, look at this. Draw a circle, this is not a spell circle, this is just whatever. Let's draw you in the middle, okay? That's you, right? And let's put some forms out there. Okay. And let's put some up here. Right? Well, it was like earth plane and uh, astral. So basically, how does Cristiano Ronaldo play such good football, right? Like this is Cristiano Ronaldo, right? But he plays much better than this guy over here. He plays at the highest level because spirit flows through him. Some people who have faith can pour it into themselves and take remember if you made a painting right you're divinely inspired it's not your painting you're taking it from this invisible world from from the perfect but if you're jealous of ronaldo right and R ronaldo has a kabbalah bracelet so i don't know how if he's demonically charged i really don't know i'm just using him as a random example but if you're a very jealous guy and you always look at your peers who do better than you, a lot of times this is your Mars, right? Your manhood. It points up. It's erect and it's angry. And it's desperate and wrathful and sinful and greedy. And it actually makes deals with the wrong archetypes. You understand? And the archetype doesn't deceive you until you deceive yourself first. You cannot be bought by the devil if you're not already for sale. Right? You got God's barcode. Like, let's take some responsibility here. And if you ever wonder, like, well, man, I did get deceived in this. Why were you not curious enough? Like, why was chemicals in your brain enough for you? Like, why is chemicals in your fucking brain? And hey, that's enough science. I understand the world. Yeah. Yeah. The science teacher told me it's chemicals in my head. How do you become for sale through through witchcraft, right? And which is really just the alchemical process of ridding yourself of good and evil, of trying to be God, of cosmic consciousness, of being the adversary, of being the star that doesn't rotate that way. You want to go your own way. And that really is, uh, it's tragic too. It's tragic because he, Nobody actually believes they're stronger than God. They just live in the, hey, I'm doing this in my lifetime kind of thing. See, what you guys don't know about Carl Jung is, and Freud, go watch the interview where he's asked about how well he knew Freud personally, and he kind of jumps and gets panicky, and that's the first time you'll see Jung kind of like act a little... Well, maybe no one else noticed it, but 
when I started pointing it out, people were like, dude, you're schizo. And I said, look, all I'm saying is he had a homosexual relationship with Freud. And my buddies are like, why, dude? Just because he got a little weird because he said, um, you know, he said something about, I don't know him personally like that and blah, blah. And I said, I know for a fact he did. I know because I had that feeling. Did you know the feelings you have in your stomach are always true? They're either telling you the truth or an inverted truth or a truth coming later. So if you think your wife is getting, let's say, taking your money and giving it to some whatever, that feeling you have is true. But she's probably a good girl for the next two years. And so that feeling is a psychic kind of, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's like feelings you have in your thing. They're all uh, truth or mirroring truth. So if you have a thought about murdering someone, it could be a mirrored truth. Right? Because when you realize that the mental plane is not just yours that it bounces with everyone else's in chat, that's when you start to panic and go, if I let these guys have their last word, I'll be a retard like them. You know what I mean? The scariest thing people do is think that their mental health is just them alone, right there in the room. That individual... Uh, um, Andrew Tate thing, you know, the individual thing, the right wing thing. It's very stupid because the soul gets very sick if you don't have uh, uh, communion. That you need uh, groups. That you are a collective. You can't just be your own guy. That means you need like a volleyball team. No, I'm not listening, Nina. I'm the only right winger that's not an individual loser, bro. Those individual losers are... My dude, no one got a black belt thinking as an individual. That shit's fucking retarded, okay? I'm cult-like. I join wolf packs. Plus, you're born into a system. You're born into a family unit that is your neighborhood, that's your town. Like, Why are you pretending you're an individual? Like, That's not how... You if you are an individual, you don't see yourself like that at all. You say that to look cool. No one actually sees themselves like that, whether it's commie or whatever. And you know how cocky you'd have to be to even believe that shit? When you think of who you are, like who am I as an individual, you immediately group yourself politically because you want to be in an in-group so you're not alone. You immediately have to do panic maneuvers. Because nobody believes they're an individual. Does that make sense? 